Well, I'm out. Just had a liner then. I've just caught one that ain't long been here and I uh, chucked a couple of singles over to the far corner where uh, we'd caught them previous, like our last trip here. Uh, my mate Ollie and I came. There he is, fat old boy. I don't know what he is. Might be a 20 pounder. If he is, he's only just. Got the old art going. <laughs> Wicked. Oh, I've got another one. He's a much better one. <laughs> Same rod again. Over in the corner of the lake over there. Not right in the corner, but over there. Have to run around, ping out a few 12 mil manilas. Just manila, coat in a Bailey's. It's been a bit of bubbling over there. I wasn't surprised to get another one. This one. He's very nice. He has, oh, what's going on there? He's got big scales on in this one. He's a nice one. They're getting a bit bigger. Yeah, he's a nice one. Gave me a hell of a fight. Snagged me up in this bush behind me for ages, but I got him out. Strong tackle, wins the day. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, he's a, real ni <laughs> he's a real nice one, but it's savagely cold and I can't wait to get it back because uh, my hands are going to pay the price. But yeah, what a lovely carp. And stayed still long enough for me to get a little bit of video. Wicked, I'll show you the other side. Oh, Nick does not like this. Nick does not like this. Mm. Yeah, he's a lovely one. A real nice one. On a very, very cold morning. <sighs> Wicked. Lovely. Yeah, mad. Just sitting there. One's just crushed out. Well, crushed out. He shuffled out. He shuffled out three or four times up to his sort of gills. Mental, wasn't it? Absolutely arctic. Oh, it is cold, look at that. How the lake didn't freeze, I don't know. It's super beautiful this morning. Super crisp and cold. So we're gonna, uh, yeah, I mean, I've had a few bites, so the logical thing for me is all going out. They're obviously quite happy. I saw one this morning shuffle out. I think I clipped it, but I'd, it already happened, obviously. But yeah, he shuffled out four or five times over the, the area I'm fishing, so I'm going to go around and... Uh, oh, it's so cold to take my breath away. <laughs> go and ping a few more boilies out in the general area. Not many, just a few, like... Oh. And this is the corner I'm catching them from. I'm actually casting between that. I'm not fishing close to that, but between there and where I'm stood. So literally chuck a few boilies in, only a dozen, 15 max, 12 millers, just spread out. Because the fish are obviously frequenting this corner. Oh no. <laughs> It's snowing. It's snowing. Oh, oh my god. It's blizzard actually. It's a total blizzard. Anyway. There's a chance for snow carp, isn't there? And I'm a professional. <laughs> so I'm gonna sit here. Historically, I've always done really well in the snow. I sound it sounds mad. Um, but it seems to drop them, even though you think cold water would sink, but I, <laughs> in my, in my um, experience, I've always done really well, especially in deepish lakes. This isn't quite so deep, but the fish were active yesterday. Perhaps they knew what was coming, but even so, when we do get a drop like this in the past, I've always managed to get a bite or two. Um, and I like to think I've got my rods where the carp are. So yeah, I'm going to sit it out, <laughs> because I can. Luckily for me, I have a four-wheel drive car, so I should be all right. <laughs> Let's hope so. I'm, I'm stranded here with no one to help me. Help! 
yeah so the last vlog this is this is where it gets quite amusing I mean we've all had our lives turned upside down to a lesser or greater extent mine may be not so because I'm a fisherman you know I go fishing you can tell I've lost my skills with the camera on wait oh hello look yeah I hate cormorants but at least they'll keep the carp moving about <laughs> anyway so yeah my last vlog was an awesome vlog even if I do say so myself it was like several venues around France Belgium I caught loads of big carp and I mean big carp as well um, and the disc got corrupted so the boys at sticky baits were feverishly trying to get all my stuff off the camera but it was not to be they could only get little bits and bobs um, so like, I've lost probably a good two hour vlog and it was a wicked one as well I caught some whackers in Belgium um, yeah really good and like typically because I'm lazy and I was um, I wasn't taking pictures of them because I was filming them <laughs> and now it's all gone oh well that's life isn't it the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away oh, what a change eh Free well, I say freezing it's not freezing it's foggy it's very foggy and as any carp angler worth his salt knows, when it's foggy you don't catch much. <clears throat> Whatever the reason, I've always been told it was fear of predation. Um, uh, as the years go on I'm less inclined to believe that. I think it's just they don't like the fog. For whatever reason. Anyway, a weird thing happened yesterday. I got a couple of texts that me mate had died. A Belgian angler called Mark BMW, Mark Pirette his name was, uh, an iconic angler who would, uh, you know, it was a big, big face in the very, uh, you know, in the turn of the 90s in Belgium, caught a lot of the big carp, was a proper pioneer going to France and all that a lot. Um, and I'd heard his name a long, long time before I ever met him. Um, and I met him in France about, 20 years ago maybe a bit more and we got on really well me and Mark um, he was a right old character um, and yeah could never do enough for me I fished with him a few times I say fished with him I bumped into him in France a few times and we fished alongside each other and always had a laugh um, yeah so it was very sad to hear yesterday I got a cut of text from his mate Frank his fishing partner saying that he'd uh, that he'd succumbed to cancer he had a really aggressive cancer um, and I felt really sad about it. I'd known Mark for a long time, but like most people in fishing, you know, you don't keep in touch with him daily. And I hadn't spoken to him for a year or two. I hadn't been to Zwoller, and that was normally where I bump into most people. Um, so to hear he died, I was a bit gutted, and I thought to myself, I've got to catch one for you, Mark. Because that's what you do, isn't it? It's a funny old game. Anyway, I woke up this morning to this, and I thought, I can't remember the last time I caught one in fog. <laughs> and then it rattled off with a lovely 40 pounder on the end. So there you go, Mark, that one's for you. Um, perhaps he paid his part in putting it on the hook for me in such <laughs> weather, who knows. But anyway, I'll show you him in a minute. I'm just having a cup of tea and sort my life out. But yeah, funny old life, isn't it, eh? There you go. A foggy old morning, you never catch them in the fog. And I was talking about my old mate dying, Mark Pirette, and I wondered if he played a part in this one. Because I can't remember the last time I caught a big carp in the fog. But this one is just shy of 20 kilos. 19 point something, it's a 42 pounder. Yeah, he's a banger, isn't he? What a Oh. He's a banger, but do you know what? My back is out. Where's the water? Oh. Yeah, sorry, my back is out. And when I say out, I'm in agony just picking it up. Oh. Oh, but what a lovely one in the fog, eh? Mega. 42 something 
and a really lovely big brown carp, do you know what I mean? One of the reasons I drive all this way. And yeah, wow, eh? Mega, the cycle of life. Funny old game. Yeah, God rest Mark, he was a top man, I tell ya. And a mega angler. Most of you watching this won't have a clue who I'm talking about, but he was an icon. And an inspiration. He was a total inspiration for a lot of people. <sighs> mega. <sighs> oh, let me show you the other side, because he's got a... He's just a nice car, buddy. Everything about him is nice. <laughs> What's a touch? I tell you what, it's not often you wake up in the fog to did 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 with one of them on the end. Now, ah, mate, tough old trip this trip. It's not always super easy, like it always appears. I should think. I want to get this one back. Oh, I'm happy with that. Wicked. Oh, there's another nice mirror this morning, look, out of the blue. Lovely. What do you reckon, Bert? Bert's very excited by mirrors. He wants to eat them for some reason. There's a 30-pounder, I guess, or thereabouts. I'm not picking it up because my back is shot to pieces. Lovely times. Beauty. Another mad morning, isn't it? You wouldn't believe it, but after that 30 pounder, I was just charging the phone and I've got to take Bert to the, oh, to the vets. Whew. And I've got this one, 43 and a half, just literally just under 20 kilos. <laughs> Cracker. They're all so full at the minute. And this is why I really wanted to try and get back out because every one you catch is a monster. And you've got to be happy with that. <laughs> Tight as a barrel, beautiful. So much for never catching me in the fog, eh? What a f***ing mad day. <sighs> Mega. Real nice one, isn't it? I can't really see in the viewfinder, but I'm taking it. Um, I've got a bit of footage. <laughs> ah, Belgian breakfast edge, if you've never had them. This is... It's going to take me a f***ing hour to open the packet because I've got no nails like a joker. <laughs> for sake. Right, hold up. Right, these, if you've never had them before, are the Dombot. Not only have they got like cheese sauce and cheese and ham, look. Peel the paper off, and they got, they're buttered, both sides. Uh, anyway, butter side down, peel the other butter bit off. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, oh, lovely time. He's sizzling away. Like I said, not just cheese, but cheese sauce, like a white cheese sauce and ham. A little bit of white pepper and salt on top. And I'm telling you what, for two quid or whatever they are, they are f***ing worth their weight in gold. Very, very good bit of Bankside food. Ah, oh, look at that. Perfectione. Little bit of a white pepper. I like pepper. Duh. A little bit of a if it ever comes out the thing. Been out all night, and there you have it. The ultimate, and I mean the ultimate breakfast. <laughs> so 
So here I am in Oxford, trying to catch a snow carp. Um, not that I've never caught a snow carp before, I've caught more than my fair share to be fair. Uh, but of course as we know, getting a snow carp means you've got to be out in the snow and here I am. So yeah, it's only early morning, uh, the rods are on the spot. I went round last night and put out, I don't know, a dozen or 15, 12 millers. Um, I didn't get a bite yesterday evening, which I was a bit per perturbed by, but to be fair, the boys were here mainly to work and not fish. Um, so they were doing their work party and burning and building fires and cutting things and making loads of noise. And I was uh, sat with my rods out, but I think it might have fripped the carp up a bit. But even so, I'm sort of fishing at the extremities of the lake. And I'm hoping that all the noise and banging and God knows what yesterday would have uh, maybe moved them about a bit. You don't know. Perhaps they're not where I was fishing anymore. But I'm going to sit it out until midday, I guess. Unless it gets really deep, in which case I'm in... <laughs> uh, uh. It's even starting to build up in the edge. Whilst I am uh, fearless and courageous, I'm also very aware that if I don't do something soon, I ain't going to be able to get home. That's beautiful, isn't it? I just love it. Oh, we don't get enough of it anymore in this country, so when I get a bit, I'm, uh, I'm quite inclined to just stay out and enjoy it. You never know, there's still a chance for a bite in there. <laughs> yep, it's time to go home. Ooh. I'll give it my best shot. <laughs> It weren't to be on this occasion, but what I will do is I will put a little bit of bait out before I go, and I'll uh, I'll come back in a couple of days. You're leaving out the water temperature if it doesn't freeze solid. That is, yeah, lovely. Well, I've come back the following week with my mate Ollie just for a couple of go, a couple of days of it, at it. And yeah, this is one of the real old ones in the lake, and uh, I've, it's avoided me up till this point, but I finally got him. They call it the snub nose, unsurprisingly, but he's a real old character. He's on the wane a bit, he's been a lot bigger in the past, I think. But it's been a tough old winter for him. And yeah, he's a lovely one, isn't he? Nice carp, that, mate. Yeah, lovely. Look at my COVID hair, look. <laughs> I have now full COVID. <laughs> now I've got to get it cut this weekend. I'm looking like an absolute wild man. Anyway, I'm not even meant to be doing my vlog. I'm actually down fishing to do a uh, shoot a feature for a magazine. And um, I've been catching them. It's, it's, are we in February now? Yeah, just that. Just February. February. So through the back end of January, obviously I've got a bit of footage to show you, but we were catching them. Um, the last trip we had seven I think, trip before me and a couple of mates, six, like just short trips. So I've come back but of course I've put a few on Instagram now and you know it goes like <laughs> the window is short as they say and there's somebody up there where we've been catching and throwing bait everywhere and genuinely ruining it. But in our favour, and that is the end of the lake where the fish have been living, but in our favour we've had an awful lot of rain, it's flooded it and the little shallow channel that they're a bit reticent to come through most of the time they're obviously coming through now. So I've come down here to do me a few pictures and whatnot, put the rods out, <laughs> and I've caught this lovely carp out the blue. We were just stood here, I didn't even put any bobbins on. Saw the rod tip knot, ran down, and I've hooked it off these trees here, and it's cut it into the corner. It was a bit airy, but anyway, fortune in favour is the brave and all that. We've got him out, and what lovely carp! I can let you have a look at him because on a February day, you've got to be happy with one of them, ain't ya? <laughs> lovely. Lovely zip, linear. Don't know how big he is, 22, 24 pounds, something like that, don't matter, does it? But yeah, what a lovely cart. Gave me a right old tussle in the edge, I tell ya. And I kept seeing this old zip linear, <laughs> fleeting glimpses of him, you know? But yeah, lovely times. So yeah, to kill two birds with one stone, bit for me vlog, and done a job. 
<laughs> I think I'll have a cup of tea now to celebrate. I've just moved up the other end, chucked them out, barely out there an hour, a couple of little bleepy liners, and then wallop. Hell of a battle. So I'll just give you a quick, uh, quick look at him. Because it's just lovely to be catching, isn't it, on a nice February day. And it is, it's very mild at the minute, I've got to say. Um, but yeah, I've just been round, a few more manila with a bit of bailey soaked into them, just in the corner opposite. And, um, you know, that's a good tip for this time of year. Like, I can easily go round and fish where they are. But, you know, they're likely to be quite sardined at the minute, by which I mean they're going to be in little packs and that. And uh, I've just been round there, it's quite coloured. There's been a lot of rain, it's come up over most of the swims. Um, but yeah, you know, I could have gone round in the corner and flicked them out 20 yards, but I'm playing them where they are. You know, if you get a bite, you just you f it real quick. You might get a bite, maybe two out of it, and then they're gone. This way, I'm fishing across to the corner from the island, and I can, um, you know, 60 yard cast or something. And I'm fishing locked out, I get one bleep, and I just get the rod down and get them back two or three good pulls, and they're away from the main group. And I just find it like prolongs the action if you can fish like that. It just pays to pay attention to them little things, I guess. Anyway, I'll show you this one in a minute because I'm waffling, bored. Oh, I'll give you a quick look at him. It's easy to throw them all back, isn't it? You know what I mean? When you're getting a few bites and a mirror on my own today, it's easy to think, oh, I'll just get it back. Might be a big one along in a minute. You know, that's the, that's the curse of the carp angler, isn't it? But anyway, oh, he's very cold. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, I'm on straight and out. He's a nice long one, he might be 20 pounds. Ugh. Come on, calm down. He's empty though, this one. He's been in the wars a bit at some point, I think. Ugh. Anyway, on a cold day, you've got to be happy with a bite or two, ain't you? Brilliant. I'll get him back. I don't mind keeping him for a little bit because like I don't him rushing back to his mates and scaring him off because I'm pretty sure that's what he'll do but I'll pop him back, the rods are back out there, I've been round, bit of bait there's a chance of a couple more eh, be lovely better than sitting at home well here's a treat I chucked a rod down to the other side of the lake oh. And I've got a real nice one, one we call the double row linear, or there's a couple of double row linears, but this is the, the smaller of the two, I think. But yeah, what a cracker on a February day, eh? Jesus. Super. <laughs> Just show you the other side. Calm, calmer, calm. Come on, Carp. Play the game, Mr. C <coughs> I only want to get a little bit of video and then you can go back. He's a cracker, isn't he? What a cracking Carp. Wicked. Well pleased to catch that one. <laughs> and I'm still getting liners. Mad, eh? Mental. <sighs> Check him out. A nice one, isn't it? He pulled my string properly, let me tell you. And what a beautiful carpet it is. <laughs> Wicked. <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing, isn't it, when you catch so many? Especially this time of year. But it's the you know, it's the culmination of a couple of weeks' work, pinning them down and just like trying to get stuff going and whatnot. So yeah. Lovely. Show you the other side quick. <clears throat> Okie dokie. <laughs> ah, fantastic February fishing, eh? A rarity. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, come on. <laughs> Curling up like a real. How cold's that water? Yeah, cold actually. Didn't feel that cold when I put my hand in it earlier. But it's cold, yeah. Oh, 
guys, let's leave him for a second. <laughs> <laughs> He's very wriggly, isn't he? Yeah, Not flapping, just wriggling. Cold, mate, isn't it? It's been sat there minding its own business all winter. A little bit for the camera, there we go. Lovely but, little car, is it? Well done, mate. Nice one. Ah, more carnage. I got air fish for an hour. I'm out of breath, I'm running around. Uh, got a nice one in there, nice 20 pounder. How's that for a lovely bracelet? Oh mate, it's hectic, hectic, hectic. Come on the old cut tail. <laughs> the old 101 is like, can't, surely it can't be far away. I don't want to talk it up or talk it down, do you know what I mean? But my God, these are over bait as well. Three or four big pouches of bait, mega. The weather's incredible. Absolutely, I'm expecting another bite. I caught that many that quick. Anyway, that's the first one. Dozy dogs come in for a little look. A plain but welcome carp on a February day. This is a bit of the ugly sister, the other two are built, so I'll show you them in a sec. Oh, you can tell it's warmed up, I've been sweating doing these, running around like a madman. Oh, this is a real nice one, and do you know what? As I've unzipped it, I think I've caught this one in the last month. Oh, 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 oh. Really lovely carp as well. Yeah, I caught this one. I didn't weigh him. He's obviously a 20 pounder. Ooh. Come on, my mate. Could do that. Dog eating him. Ooh. Ooh, he's a lovely one, isn't he? What a cracking cod. And Jesus Christ, he fought so hard. I thought I was never going to get him in. Uh, a bit like he did last time. <laughs> He's an absolute belter, ain't he? What a belter. What a belter, eh, that one? He's a belter, but he's also very angry. We haven't had this one this winter. This is another new one. What a cracker. I'll show you the other side of him, because he's so beautiful. I'm on a real tight bit of bank here. If I put one foot to the right, I'm in the drink. Whew. Oh yeah, he's a very, very lovely carp. What a cracker. Mm. Oh. Beauty. And another mental scrap, another mental scrap. They want to fight me today, don't they? They're all, I mean, that, they must be absolutely super awake now. This is like a, oh, come on, carp. Get cramp in my leg and everything. Come on, didn't go back in a sec. Just show you to the people. Ah, what a belter. Whew, what a lake, eh? Cracking stock of carp, real beauties, all of them. And hopefully in the future, some of these are gonna grow into monsters. It'd be nice to think so, wouldn't it? I've caught a lot of carp out of here since January. I've had 20 carp at least, and, and uh, Ollie's probably had a similar amount. Um, and he hasn't been here for a couple of trips, like he's, he's fishing somewhere else this week. Anyway, so I've cast out again this morning, it's dead as a door now. I've gone to walk round, oh no, that's it, a fish showed in the middle of the lake. And uh, I cast a pop up on it, on it, sat there, thought, right, I'll knit round, put an handful of bait in the corner. Um, just see if I can liven them up for the day. I got halfway round, I could hear a buzzer, I ran back, it was the one I'd just cast out of the fish. Um, and it was, out of all them bites, you know that's the first one I lost, it was gone before I even got back to the rod, it was all tight, took loads of line and stuff. Um, but yeah, it just fell off, unsurprisingly. It dumped the lead and there was no pressure to keep it in. Um, so that was a bit perturbing, first loss out of 20, but you know, you can't be sorry with that. It's like, it's a bit mental really, isn't it? You expect to lose a form, few more than that out of that many bites, but no. The old multi-rig with a big curve hook, mate, you wind them in like you ain't even got to play them. <laughs> they ain't coming off. Anyway, yeah, so I've wanged out the corner rods, run back round, put a bit of bait out, got back. They've both gone within a minute of each other and there's, a, there's one of the old original, big deep scaly one I caught before last spring. He's a really lovely carp, so you'll be pleased to see a bit of him. And a 20 pound, pretty bland looking one, but I'll do a bit of video in a bit. Cracker. <laughs> Showing off now. Now it's camera time. Beauty. 
<sighs> but he's like a bar of soap, he's so small. He's only a double, I should think. What is he, 14, 12, 14 pounds, something like that. He's not a big car, but he's absolutely as mad as they come. Another cracker. Mental, wasn't it? Anyway, I've caught this one before. I caught it in the spring last year. It's a real lovely original old one. I don't know how old it is, probably older than me. And that's saying something, because I am ancient. Right. I've had him out already to try and do some self-tapes, because he's so lovely. But he's a proper handful, he's been. Oh. Come on, old boy. Oh, he's like a lumpy old dinosaur, isn't he? What a cracker. An absolute mega carp, this one. Yeah, I love him. I think he's an absolute belter. And there he is. He's one of the proper ones. Super, super cod. Lovely carp. Really pleased to caught him again. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh. I'll try and get you a close up of him because he is. Such a magnificent old carp. Mega Ray. Oh, an absolute cracker he is. Cracker. He's one of them ones you can't hold up right, it keeps flopping. Yeah, he's like looking twisted in my arms, but he's just one of them old carp. Oh, they keep coming. Another nice one. We actually weighed this one because he was quite tubby and wide, it was 22 pound. But a real hard fighting one, this one. And the culmination of a lot of bites today. It's been mega, absolutely mega February fishing. <laughs>